Hey guys, somebody give me a five for five. And we'll get into it real quick. This is going to be a really, really short one. Um, just wanted to make sure everybody knew what was going on and why I haven't been here for a minute. And um, just to give everybody kind of a uh, update on solar weather. There's stuff going on solar weather wise. Just had a big earthquake, guys. Um, so I don't want to not report on it. Um, so we'll just uh, we'll go with that, guys. I have not got any of my links pulled up, but you guys are going to just watch it with me, okay? <laughs> this shouldn't be very long, but I do, again, I want to go over this because this is stuff that's going on. Um, but just a little preference here. Um, we've been fighting COVID here on my in my house. Um, that's why I have not been uh, doing anything. Um, I got really, really sick. I had a kidney stone also at the same time. Had my daughter at the hospital. I mean, the whole bit. So this is one of those things where I just had to step back for a minute and take care of my family and um, still am, just so you know. But just so we get this, you know, just so we get this going so everybody understands what's happening there. Um, that's why I haven't been posting anything. Um, so let's get into this real quick. Um, obviously, guys, we had a flare earlier today. It was an M-Class flare. It did uh, cause some radio issues. As you can see here, R1, this is Space Weather Prediction Center, um, and that's what's happening there. Um, but, again, guys, there's not um, a whole lot of other things going on other than this earthquake that just popped off, and we had a geomagnetic storm, um, and the, the sun is becoming very, very active. So... Um, that's something we're going to have to keep our eye on and hi to everybody that I didn't get a chance to say hi to. Um, but you can see we got into storm level here. Um, to be honest with you guys, it's probably coming from a coronal hole opening of some sort. I really don't know the specific on that yet. Um, I need to go look at it. I haven't really had a chance, guys. Obviously, I've been concentrating on what's going on here at my house, and um, that's where my concentration has been. But obviously, guys, look. Look how active the sun got. Um, this didn't happen overnight, okay? Just so you understand this, guys, this is not something we did not expect. As a matter of fact, I think on one, on my last uh, upload, um, I told you guys all these spots here in the southern hemisphere were on the sun. They were just off the limb. They rotated in. These were coming, and we knew it, Okay. So there's nothing like extravagantly happening, just popping up on, on the sun. That's not what's going on here. So please don't think that that's the case because it's not. It's just simply not true. Um, so, well, you know, we can go look at Stereo A. If anybody has any questions of that, please go look at Stereo A and, and go look at your own data. Go look at it for yourself. They were there. A lot of those sunspots were already there. They just rotated in, and we talked about it here. And they were coming. And we just had a blank disc for so many days. This kind of shocked people. And um, and honestly, guys, I, I apologize. I probably should have did a couple uploaded videos, and I didn't. Um, I just, again, just trying to feel better and make sure that my family's fine. And that's where my concentration's been. So that's just what it is. Um, this is the Discover data. Right now, guys, there's not much going on. I mean, yes, we got a high increase uh, of... Uh, Solar wind speed there in the purple. The density is a little bit elevated. Hey, Russell, what's up? Now, the BZ, guys, you know, look, it didn't even get hardly to negative 6 for very long at all. Now, if this had stayed negative 6 for longer than, than what it did, we definitely would have been in geomagnetic storm conditions longer. Okay? So just understand that. Now, um, again, I'm sorry this is kind of all over the place a little bit, but we're going to take a look at... Uh, we're going to go back over here real quick, and I'm going to show you the flare. It's, you know, the x-rays are still hanging around. Um, that's the most updated pick right there of the flare, of the absorption. Okay? So I'm going to grab this, and I'll show you when this flare happened. Right about, well, it must have happened before that. So it's already been too much time. Yep, it happened right before this. This is the back end of that flare. So when it really hit, it was probably about right here. And yes, there were some reports of some small radio blackouts, but nothing significant. Those radio blackouts have since then subsided. Nothing more to talk about there, honestly. Um, just not a whole lot to say 
on all that. <laughs> uh, so what we'll do now, we'll go look at SDO real quick because I do think, um, well, we'll go look at seeds first. Um, and we'll look at that. Um, this will show you what, what's blown off the sun from Lasco C2. Um, that's a satellite that's out in front of the sun, well, out in front of the earth looking at the sun. Nothing going on on the 19th, but let's go check out the 20th and see what we get here. I haven't even looked at this yet. So, yes, you guys see that? That was probably that in flare right there. Okay. And it did come from that sunspot. You see a partial halo right about there. See that? That's coming at us. All right. It does look to be earth directed. I will say that. Um, we can go look at other stuff to, to verify. But this is the NASA in little spiral. And NASA's got this thing hitting us. So um, whether or not the CME that's accompanying the flare gets here and hits us here in a couple days, what well, that's way to be seen. But other than that, not much to say there, guys. Um, is what it is. Hey, Kiss, what's up, brother? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, oh, goodness. So, yeah, so you got that coming, guys. Um, that does look like, because it is, looks like it's going to hit us. Um, it may be like a sideways glancing blow type of situation, but it's not a complete sideways blow. Now, the good news here is it does not look to be all that powerful, okay? So whether or not we get any kind of geomagnetic storm from that, again, that's gonna we're going to have to wait to see. I've learned that not come out here and just say, hey, we're getting a geomagnetic storm from that because it's about a 50-50 crapshoot, just to let you guys know. Even when you got the best models in the world telling you it's going to happen, about 50% of the time, you're going to be wrong. And um, so I'm reluctant to just say it, you know what I mean? Um, I think it's at some at some level that's almost irresponsible, um, just to be honest. Um, you know, if you if you recognize that it's not always correct like that, at least tell people the percentage of chances that it's possible that we could get that. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what I would say to that. So please trust that. Trust what you're looking at yourself. Um, now I'm looking at this, and this definitely that that flare is definitely southward directed. Look at that. And this is a side view. Earth would be over here. So, you know, looking at this, see again, guys, you know, this could fly south of Earth. I don't know. Um, but the end little spiral is showing that it could be hitting us, you know. But again, I'm reluctant just to say, hey, you know, that's what's happening because I'm not 100% on that. And I'm not going to be like saying that it's going to if I don't, if I'm not 100% sure on it. So, yeah. So we'll go look at SDO real quick. We'll take a look at this flare that did pop off. We will look at, um, let's see here, I'm trying to figure out. Well, we'll look at the 94 because it will show the, the flash better. Um, it typically does anyway. See that? Guys, that was right in front. I mean, you see how active this is now. These sunspots are now active. These things are popping. They're going to keep popping. So, yeah, and that's what's going to happen. And, and, you know, I don't really know what else to say about this. And, again, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of throwing this together. You know, like I said, my whole house is fighting the, the COV plus math thing right now. And I had a kidney stone and all that. And hi to everybody I missed. I haven't even looked at the chat. So I'm sorry if anybody's in there I didn't say hi to. I apologize. Um, but, anyway... Um, yeah, so that's, that would be the flare. Um, you know, we can go look at the CME tracker to see what I just had it pulled up and I X'd out of it. Um, yeah, so we're looking at, you know, when you guys look at this, you guys got to look at the, uh, the key up here to see what's on this map. And, you know, I, a lot of times when we get planetary alignments, it'll draw these things out. Um, and that's exactly what I probably what's happening here. Um, it looks like, well, we didn't directly line up with Venus, but it looks like this thing was fired right at Venus. Uh, you know, whether it was or not, don't know. <laughs> Can't give you 100% on that, but it does look like it's going to. Um, I would say if I'm looking at that, I would say, yeah, I mean, it almost does look like it would be hitting that planet anyway. But yeah, so, you know, anytime we start lining up with close to any other planets, it really does yank on that magnetically, and it really will make things pop. 
So what I'm saying is with Venus being out in front of us in this alignment and we're looking at SDO here, guys, I mean, I would stay awake. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we definitely had some flares popping here. Don't know what else to say. Uh, let me take a look at the chat real quick. All right, everybody in there. I'm going to kind of scroll back here a little bit, see what we get. What's up, Tommy? Linda? Arizona? Leisure? Trish? E Rock? Hey, Scott, what's up, brother? Ah, yeah, that's funny you said that. Definitely going to light up Venus. Yep, 100%. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> good to see you, man. CW, E Rock, Trish, good to see you, everybody, guys. Um, Tab, Sally, Cindy. Yeah, Pamela, good to, Linda, anybody I missed there, Jacob, good to see you, bud, Red. Um, but again, guys, you know, there's really not a whole lot more to say to talk about with the flare issue here. We are going to look at uh, USGS and show you this earthquake real quick. Um, again, I am not the earthquake guy. All right. Um, I've said that since the beginning, and I probably never will be the earthquake guy. Just frankly, there's too much to learn there, and I've already cram my brain with a whole bunch of stuff but what i want you to say and i and i see marf posted this too this is how i found out this earthquake even happened that's how disconnected i've been from this this past week just so you know um usually i'm watching this all the time and i would have already known this and i didn't so i thank thank adam over at marfugel for posting that video i never would have even probably been here right now uh, but anyway you see this right here this is cascadia guys and it's happening right at that that pivot point, and I think Marf even talked about this a little bit, and it's really probably the basis of his video, but that is a really, really bad spot for a, a quake of that significance to be happening. Um, it is not, like, catastrophic at the moment, okay? So I don't want anybody to get kind of freaked out or anything there. Don't be. Just keep your eye on this, guys. Now, this is, like, the second swarm we've had in this area in, like, a month. So understand that, too. It's swarming, it's swarming on land right now. Um, the main earthquake was offshore. You know, of course, we got other ones happening too, which always happens. But it does look like we're doing that. Thanks, Linda. I appreciate you. Hey, Menacing. CW, Arizona. Good to see you guys. Is Scott still in there? It's good to see you, Scott. I ain't seen you in a long time, man. Anyway, um, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a good Christmas and stuff. Tommy, Tommy. What's up, brother? Anyway, um, so yeah, so there's your earthquake stuff. Now, we can look at uh, spaceweather.com. Go give them some love, guys. You guys know I, I love this this uh, website, Earth Directed Solar Flare, M19 class. Look at all the sunspots, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. If I counted right there, that's a lot. <laughs> Just saying, that's a lot. Um, and they're all facing us. So you can look for our, our x-ray production to stay elevated. See how we're, our baseline is now close to a sea level flare? You know, a week ago, it was down here, guys. So those, those sunspots continually produce x-ray. So just keep that in mind. That's what's happening there. So, but anyway... Um, this is going to give us some great aurora. It already is, it looks like. I mean, this stuff is going to happen. This stuff is beautiful. I love it. Uh, let's go with the... Oh, look here, guys. Noctilucent clouds. They're now starting to show up. More def defined. These are um, blue metallic looking clouds that form around the poles. And what happens is water vapor freezes around meteor dust that's high in the atmosphere. The highest parts of our atmosphere... That, that vapor, that moisture, rises up there, and when it gets cold, it freezes around the meteor dust. And it gives these things a metallic blue-looking uh, appearance. So we see these in the summertime of each hemisphere. All right? So that's what's happening there. They're definitely starting to show up. I was showing you the little dots popping everywhere already, um, but, you know, obviously that's not a big deal. Uh, th these are expected. What's, ex what's not expected is they are a little bit late again. Um, that's happened now quite a few times. So that's what I would say to that. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of other, uh, weather going on here, but you can definitely see guys, we're going to have to just keep our eye here. Um, no doubt, no diggity, no doubt. So 
And again, guys, I'll probably start at least putting up some uploaded videos, short five, ten minute ones. Um, I got to concentrate on getting my family healthy. Um, that's what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, I'll try to get on here and do the small ones if I can. Um, I'll be on here whenever I can, you know, if, if time allows. But again, like I said, my focus is has to be that first. And it's a holiday season, too. So, I mean, it, it does throw a little extra wrench into the situation. So, but um, I do plan on putting some uploaded videos out um, or maybe some even little short live streams like this one. And uh, so we'll we'll do that and all. Hey, T. Prada, what's up? Joanna, what's happening? CW. Cindy, what's happening? Becca. Oh, Joe in there. What's up, Joe? Good to see you, brother. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to pop off here. Um, thank you guys for showing up. I do appreciate it more than you will ever know um, for hanging with me, even when I didn't post there for nine or ten days. I'm sorry, but again, that's what happened. And uh, yeah, so like I always said, God bless. Yahushua saves. You can drink this Kool-Aid.